to America's team. The Cowboys yeah. Pro Bowl receiver Des Bryant missed seven games last season with a broken foot in Sunday. He was injured again. Bryant uh, spraining his right knee early in the first quarter, but stayed in the game, caught three passes for 40 yards and a touchdown in the Cowboys' 31-17 win over the Bears. Here's Jerry Jones on Dez's status. He hasn't taken an MRI, to my knowledge. And uh, so uh, uh, we, uh, I'm assuming that he's on go. But uh, I don't. Uh, uh, will he get an MRI here uh, probably later today? Maybe. And... Uh, but uh, he certainly finished the game out. That's a, uh, that in and of itself is a good indication. It doesn't mean that uh, uh, he's going to be free of uh, the symptoms or the, uh, the injury. But, Jerry, right now it doesn't sound like you have any fear or concern that he's going to miss any time. I don't want it to sound any way. Uh, uh, I'm always concerned. We'll monitor him uh, through the day. Uh, it may be that later in the day he'll do an MRI, and if he does, uh, we'll uh, give the results. Will Kane here with us. You know a little something about the Cowboys. Some might even say it's personal for you, but we're all we're all professionals here. You know when they say uh, you're not paranoid if they're really after you. I'm not a homer if I'm right. Mm -hmm. I'm not a homer if they're actually good. Yes. I'm just correct. Being right always debatable here. Good yes, hypothetically you. that would be true. <laughs> right. As a hypothetical that would be true. You know, uh, first of all, let's not listen to Jerry, okay. Jarrah. Let's not listen to Jarrah. Because one thing we know he's not is a doctor. And if you're given the choice between pessimism and optimism, he always goes with optimism. After Tony Romo's injury, <coughs> it sounded a lot like this Des Bryant injury. There was a lot of silence. And I'm when sorry, was... you, sound, you sound a little worried. You sound a little worried. Here's how I would characterize so, it. Yeah, 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 you go ahead, go ahead. Because we just watched the debate last night, so I'm kind of used to that lingo. Which you know one? I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, the debate. The, the, the debate last night. No, 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 night. What, what lingo? You know, what so lingo? I'm, saying, I'm just saying, political lingo. It doesn't matter which side no, no, no. or the other. I'm just told you, you sound like a politician already is what I'm trying okay, to say. Go ahead. Go. Okay, go this, ahead. Yeah, it makes me want to lean in, but it's going to make me sound more like a politician, I think. Yes. I'm cautiously optimistic, okay. okay, about everything to do with the Cowboys right now. First of all, when it comes to Dez, that injury looked awful. It looked a lot, though, like Russell Wilson's bend in his knee, and we know that's a sprain. Pete Carroll saying Russell Wilson may play this week. So as bad as it looked, I have some optimism that he, he can play like he can Exactly, Molly came back, caught a touchdown. Mm -hmm. Caught Des, uh, Dak Prescott's first touchdown. We also lost, we, the Cowboys lost, by L. Collins. That's just that we. We caught that. We caught that. We caught that. We caught that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We is accurate. Go ahead. 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 Yeah, it's all good. Somebody see the go ahead. That's very New York. So yeah. I, we <laughs> also lost Lyle Collins, but Ronald Leary steps in, a guy who's played in 2013, 2014, started all the games, and actually played better than Lyle Collins, thus giving me more optimism. I'm more worried about Tyron Smith being out than Lyle Collins being out. In the end, here's the caution, here's the optimism. It looks a lot like it did last year, guys. It looks like losing high-profile guys, Tony Romo, Orlando Skandrick, Des Bryant, but the one difference, and here's the optimism, the one difference this year is two words. It's Dak Prescott. Mm. It's a calm leader mm. at the helm of the ship. Right. It's a rush in right. your face and not panic. It's a third down conversion. Mm. Two the more. difference is... Ezekiel Elliott. I'm going to stick with Dak Prescott, okay. Molly, right okay. now. Okay. Well, tell me what you want more to prove. Well, I got good news and bad news for you. Tell me which one you want first. Uh, let's start with bad. Let's start with the bad news for the Cowboys. Sure, take it away. Des Bryant's an injury-prone player. I think we've seen over the last couple seasons the reason when you – it used to be I, when I'd say, Odell oh, no, Beckham's the best wide out in the league, I got mostly Des Bryant complaints, and I would say, time out, actually the complaint should be Antonio Brown, then Julio Jones, then Des, but Des is in that conversation. Yeah, I think if you took a, you know – see which way the wind is blowing right now. I think you get Odell and Antonio Brown and Odell and Julio Jones and A.J. Green mm -hmm. and maybe DeAndre Hopkins. And there's a lot of company for Des because he's injury prone. Not because he can't ball, he's injury prone. Now the bad news for the Cowboys is their quarterback's out, their star, their only real star on offense outside their quarterback is, is, is injury prone and their running back may not be as good as advertised. That's the bad news. Like, Ezekiel Elliott may not, he, he's, he looked pretty good, but he's running behind a great line, and it's not like his yards per carry are blowing everyone away. That's the bad news. They also don't have a defense. There's some more bad news. Here's the good news. The Cowboys, oh, oh, final bad news. They're going to be last. Enough with the bad yeah. news. <laughs> They're going to be last in the NFC East this year. Now, here's the good news for the Cowboys. When you rebuild, you are starting with the thing you most need to start with, which is you got a franchise quarterback in my eyes yep. in Dak Prescott. I think he's the real deal. And you got a hell of an offensive line. 
So those are the building blocks you most need. The Dallas Cowboys don't have to worry about what most rebuilding teams have to worry about. Skills position players are actually not that hard to find in the draft. The problem is spending all those resources and draft picks year after year on building up the offensive line, hoping to find a franchise quarterback, hoping he exists. Now they can concentrate on the defense, add some skills position players. Going forward, they're in good shape. But this year, it's bad. It's not going to be good for your guys this year, Will. It's not going to be good. You know, it's interesting. You brought those points up, and... Um... Let me get back to him because, you know, um, he's enthusiastic to some degree. He's trying to come across as a little bit cautious, but he is enthusiastic. And uh, very little pleases me more than ruining your days. Uh, I actually enjoy ruining his as well. But let me get to you. You know, see, the Dallas Cowboys are 2-1. They got a victory over the inconsistent Redskins, allergic to prosperity. And, of course, they beat the <laughs> Chicago Bears. And if you want to count that, that's fine. I wouldn't have counted it if they had Jay Cutler. So you're damn sure no, I'm not counting it that they didn't. Okay? But as we look at this Dallas Cowboys schedule after San Francisco, particularly at San Francisco next week, which is a game they could lose. Do I think they will? No, but they could. But then after that, they got Cincinnati. They got a road game at Green Bay. They got Philadelphia, who looks like the best team in the division. And then after that, they got road games at Cleveland, at Pittsburgh, and then Baltimore. I could see the Dallas Cowboys winning maybe two of those games. Oh, my Possibly God. losing about four. Gauntlet. And so when I look at it from that perspective, then I also think this is the fun. This is they the, could lose uh, every one of those. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, this is my fun Rams. part, Will Kane. This is my fun part right here, because I didn't even bring this up. Demarcus Lawrence, you heard of that dude? Yeah, he'll be back Monday. Yeah, back Monday. What was he out for? You want to say it, you can say it. What, what it? You want to say it, you can say it. Why don't you say it with me? It's not for me Why'd to say it. Why don't you say it, it with me? Why don't you say it okay, with me? Okay, let's do it. Let's the do it. Weed. The weed. Okay. And now we have it. Rolando McClain, when's he coming back? When's he coming back? Probably never. I'm sorry. When, when, <laughs> Probably when, never. When, 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 Probably when, why's he going? All why's right, he come going? on. Come on. Get it out. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Because, you see, the fun part that I love about all you cowboy, you delusional, pathetic, sorry cowboy fans, just contaminating our great country, this great country of ours, you understand, with your disillusionment and everything else. What I love about y'all is how y'all just point to injury. Well, Des Bryant, you know, he's talking about he's not healthy right now. He seems to get hurt. Call me missed, a Cowboys he missed, fan. He missed, seven, fighting words. He missed seven games last year, but other than that, he hadn't been injured for the previous three. But then you talk about Des Bryant. We all know that Tony Romo's not reliable. We'll see what's happening, because Darren McFadden, even though he got out from Morris and Ezekiel Elliott, Darren McFadden, the elbow injury, what did he do? He slipped on the soap. What happened to him? Oh, yeah. I, don't remember, I don't recall. Was it about a pool? Dropped his cell phone. Dropped his cell phone. Oh, he dropped his cell, cell phone. phone. I yeah. thought he slipped on the soap or something to hit his elbow in the shower. I'm sorry. I got confused. What I'm trying to say to you is this. What's the common theme here? What can happen will happen. And that's what you're missing. The Dallas Cowboys are going to say this again. The Dallas Cowboys have talent. The Dallas Cowboys, from a talent perspective, Little can compete. Listen, listen. The Dallas Cowboys, from a talent perspective, can compete with teams in the East. The problem, Will, is that whatever can go wrong will no. go wrong because they are an accident waiting to happen. I come out here. And that's what it is. I come out here yeah, go ahead, take ready to be reasonable. I called it cautious optimism. That's the epitome of running down the middle of the reasonable lane. Who you two you men you have that? made it easy for me to win a debate when your goal isn't to be correct. Mm -hmm. Your goal was to prod the bear. You just mm -hmm. came out poking Hold the on, bear. No, 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 no. There's only one, there's only one bear here. It ain't you. That I'm remains, sorry. That remains to be seen. I'm sorry, that brother. But well, go ahead. You still got well, a maybe W two. on the board. Wait, 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 you saying the Cowboys won't get but two wins against the likes of the Cleveland Browns and the Baltimore Ravens and oh my goodness, the Philadelphia so Eagles. Next and by the way, also the Green Bay Packers who have two not shown next six much games. yet this year. Two of their next six games. That's not bad. That's not bad. Two of their next six games. That might be a little generous. Be. That's right. Might be a little oh, generous. And you, by the way, saying they're going to be last in the division. I'm very happy to accept that bet. You just want to put your money where your mouth is on that. We can put something on the table. You want to do a go look hot spicy contest? You want to do wear a jersey contest? I'm very confident. We can work out terms. <laughs> we can work out terms. Giants, Cowboys. We can work out terms. I, Giants, Cowboys, work out terms. I like the odds. Uh, Will, your best receiver one, two, three, can't you stay four. on the field. Listen, the, the offensive line and the franchise quarterback, that is a reason, not for cautious optimism for great optimism for Cowboys fans going forward. Also, Jerry Jones ceding some control to his son is also a reason for optimism because they've been making some smart decisions in the draft.
draft as a result. But this year, right now, Will, they Max, can't play defense. Max, the, the, the flaw They don't have their, logic, their quarterback. The they don't logic, have their wide out. You used this term several times, that they're rebuilding. And you were very nice and generous and optimistic about the quality and the status of their rebuilding. But the mistake you made is you're thinking you have to empty your gun before you reload it. The Cowboys are playing. They are rebuilding while they are winning. They are 2 and while one they're what? While they are winning. And what were they and last And by the year? way, we're talking about a Terrence Williams brain mishap. The difference between 3 and 0 oh and 2 oh, and 1 I'm against uh, your I'm, team. I'm, 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 pause, team. pause, pause, please. Pause, please. So, of all the things that I just pointed out, you just gave me another nugget of info to add to that. Because I completely forgot about the points so about I, what? I completely forgot about the Terrence Williams brain lock in game one. So in other words, this this mountain of evidence that the Dallas Cowboys continue to hand to us year after year after year, and you're just bringing up something else that augments a point, and you're acting like it's going to be an aberration? Because there's a difference this year. You're wow. right. How? A lot of things look like What's the difference? Dak Prescott? Dak Prescott? Older? That's what, what you're at? Dakota, 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 Dakota Prescott? That's is that what the you're answer. Just, Dakota Prescott. Dakota Prescott. By the way, I'm not sitting here just bloviating. The proof is in the pudding. If you watch a game, if you oh, one the touchdown, stats, no it's interception. Happening. One touchdown, it's no interception. He's got poor. He looks good. He's completed 66% of his passes. I get that. But, but the if, bottom, go ahead, Max. If Des Bryant is on the field about which you are cautiously optimistic, I have to admit the Cowboys have a puncher's chance. He's that special of a player. I think Des is a special receiver. He is. They have a puncher's chance with Des on the field. Still not a great team, but a puncher's chance to what? But with, to win games. But, but without Des on the field, which is a distinct possibility, they got no shot. They're done. And Ezekiel, yeah, he is a difference maker on the offense. And, and, and Ezekiel, because it ain't going to win on defense. And Ezekiel Elliott, Will, you better hope that he gets his game up. I know he it's had a, a pretty bad good week to make that argument. Uh, uh, Last week was a better week to make yeah. that argument. The first two weeks were, a better week, were better weeks to make but that argument. But not today. He had a good game. Even so, I wouldn't say he was setting the world on fire, and he's running behind a great offensive fine. line. Seven preseason snaps. You might just see the guy working himself into shape right now. You know, I can't oh, say I'm rooting for him. I'm a Giants fan, fine. but I, I wish him you know, well. You, you know, there's a saying, very, very familiar to most folks, that the best ability is availability. And I guess what I'm saying is there's always a question mark as to whether or not the Cowboys are going to be available. And yet, That is undeniable. And yet, they're 2-1. and one. Oh, they were 2-0 and oh last year. 2-1. and one, right? They were 2-0 and oh last year. 2-0. and oh. So what happened? What happened? The wheels came off. You know what happened? Uh. Matt Castle happened. Brandon oh. Whedon happened. This year, you know what happened? Remember when Jerry Jack said Prescott. Brandon Whedon had the best arm he'd ever seen? Well, I told you. I started out saying, don't listen to Jerry. You need listen to get to on me. that radio show. Listen to me. We will. Well, thank you. You're going to stay for this next conversation. Speaking of big-name players with injuries, Adrian Peterson is ahead of schedule in recovery from MCL surgery. But should he rush back or take the rest of the year off? We shall discuss these three lovely gentlemen.